I bought 1,400 comic books. If you want to know what I got, stay tuned for the video. Thank you for clicking play on the video. I'd like to ask you to click the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so that you can get alerted every time we bring out great content. Thanks. Hey YouTube comic fans, this is Jimmy the Geek Aficionado, and like I said at the beginning of this video, I bought a monster Marvel comic collection. Now, 1400 books may or may not be a lot of books depending on how you look at it. What this equates to essentially is about six long boxes, but it's six long boxes full of wonderful silver and bronze age Marvel books. All right now, I'm not kidding. This collection has got a lot of great stuff on it. It doesn't have like the monster grails, right? There's no first Thor, there's no first Fantastic Four, but it does encompass a lot of the books still in the early 60s, uh, going down through into the 70s, right? Into the significant area of the Bronze Age, and there's still a lot of keys all throughout it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a little story, and then I'm going to start showing off some books in the upcoming videos. How this came about? Well, I met my buddy's LCS and a woman comes in and she says that she has her dad's comic book collection and she wants to part with it. Okay, let's, let's take a look, right? Cause I mean, anytime a woman that's, you know, or anybody comes in who's in their thirties and forties and says they want to sell her parents comic book collection, right? There's room to, you know, to be like, okay, yeah, absolutely. Right. Cause they probably were picking up books in the sixties. So bring the collection in and we're amazed right but one of the things that was noticed is that they came in in these big cardboard boxes these uh, uh file boxes right now problem with the file boxes is is that well they're not really you know weatherproof and as it turns out there was a point that pretty sure that these boxes were left in a barn somewhere and some of the books got a little bit of water damage to them right enough where it was wet and then it was dried and then the the covers kind of stuck together. So yes, unfortunately, some of the books were a little damaged. However, all in all, there is still some great stuff in this collection. Enough that I took the plunge because he was not in a position uh, financially to pick up this larger collection. Uh, and it wasn't just like right away. I mean, this was a period of, I think, probably six, eight months between the time that the collection came in the door and then I was actually able to, to pick it up, right? Because I had to kind of save up some money because let's be honest, 1400 books is a lot of books, right? It's Silver Age. And she came in knowing a ballpark estimate of what she felt the collection was worth and what somebody had told her the collection was kind of effectively worth, right? Now, as I said, some of the books were damaged, some of the books were not damaged, but all in all, still a great collection. It really was. Um, so a couple of years ago, this is when this happened, um, I bought the collection. I brought it home, I started bagging and boarding it, and then got kind of lost in some other things that were going on at the time. Uh, enough so that it just kind of sat in a room for quite a while. And you're thinking, dude, seriously? You had 1,400 books, Silver Age, and they just kind of sat in a room? Well, I did, at the beginning, go and take about three short boxes worth out of there that, you know, was the stuff that I was just missing, right? So you got run filler stuff, you know, from, from the 60s that I was like, okay, you know what? I can start filling up a lot of my runs. Thor, Fantastic Four, Avengers, Spider-Man you name it, right? So it was all there. Um, and then I started to grade it. I got about, I got through the, the keys and about maybe half of a short box before, again, stopped, you know, kind of carried on to something else. So I have gone back to it. I've made the effort. I'm going to sit, you know, I'm going to sit down. I told myself I'm going to sit down this year. I'm going to finish grading this stuff and I'm going to start selling it. So that's what I've done. I finished grading 1400 comics. I've got them all lined up like you saw. Um, and now I can actually come out and show you what I got. So stay tuned for those videos. I'm going to be going through and showing uh, the different books, uh, well, the keys at least, from the different uh, series just to kind of show off, you know, what's there. Um, and then we will be selling these books. 
Uh, obviously, I'm going to be, you know, pulling the higher grade stuff and swapping it out in my collection to improve my personal collection. But the rest of it, it's all going up for sale, right? So there's at least a thousand books that are going to be available, and we're talking all sorts of of, uh, of silver and bronze Marvel stuff, and that's going to be available on uh, our affiliate website, uh, Inferno Comic Stores. And that link is www.infernocomicstores.com. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll be sending stuff out to CGC and getting it back. I'll show you what I've already sent out. Uh, and that's all we got. So stay tuned for all those great videos. Thanks.